So we, we believe it's going to start with components for cars, for sure. And yeah, uh, the opportunity for uh, really taking advantage of advanced designs. Right now, everything that we, we have our engineers design are also designed to be manufactured. Right? So we send all these students to uh, design rule classes and engineers. And these are all the rules you have to follow for things you can't do. Right? So the, the biggest opportunity for 3D is complexity becomes free. So being able to make really complex parts we have an example right now of uh, application for in um, a five-port valve where the ability to take a very complicated device and, and nibble, typically made out of 12 parts uh, that uh, would be used in an electric vehicle for pushing uh, coolant around, but to be able to design a much more complicated part out of one part so there's no leaks, you actually can uh, get better uh, applications and service and do that out of a real material. And so this is how we grow parts. This is an example of a part for BMW. This was just the beginning. A lot of these companies realize the potential for digital manufacturing, the ability to watermark every part, the ability to track it in the field, uh, and uh, really to think about revolutionizing their inventory and how they can control their inventory and tie all this into their ERP system. And so what about human parts. We had um, a 3D printed heart here two years ago, or components for that. Yep. Um, are you going to be working in that field and will that sort of pool of resin turn into eventually, <laughs> you know, some human organic material? Yeah, so bioprinting is, a, is almost a different class of printing. So sure. our, our life sciences business is, is probably going to be the biggest part of the company. Uh, we're doing a lot. We had a big announcement with J&J &J in, in surgical tools. And so designing tools that are real materials that can be sterilized uh, and be used in real medical applications. Huge opportunity in orthodontic applications um, and be able to, for you think about Invisalign, uh -huh. those are 3D printed uh, devices. Uh, and we can make you know, amazing new approaches with this having the real material. Typically in 3D printing for orthodontics, they make a replica of your teeth but the actual retainer is made not in a 3D printer, but it's made by thermoforming a, a 3D printed replica of your teeth. But we have the material properties to actually make the retainers directly, uh, and we're making uh, masks for uh, that fit the face. We're, uh, we're working in uh, orthotic devices for your feet. Anything where there's an N of one that's personalized for you is really an important part of where we're going and this ability to digitally manufacture or mass customize, customize anything is put now possible. Hey everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about a product I love and use every day. It's video hosting from Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. It is awesome. And who uses it? MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and of course, This Week in Startups. They've got 140,000 customers, um, and they are growing like a weed. Now, why do we use it? Well, if we use a free service like YouTube, we have all YouTube's ads and collaterals and garbage, and it looks terrible, and it's not customizable. So it looks bad, and everything that YouTube does is in service of increasing their metrics. Not your metrics. Well, what are your metrics as a business? Well, for me, it's collecting emails. Two, it's having people on my domain, my site, making it look beautiful, not having that ugly thing that comes up at the end of like a YouTube video that shows all the different videos of other people that I don't want to send my users to. I want when the video ends for them to watch another episode of This Week in Startups. I can control all of that with Wistia. That's why I use it. And it works perfectly on Facebook and Twitter with the cards and you, know, you can play it natively on those platforms. It's gorgeous and it'll give you a ton of support. You want to take control of your video. Video is a huge asset and you want to do it professionally. The analytics program is amazing. You can see on a user by user basis how long they're watching and if they rewound and watch a, a section twice, all this kind of great stuff. Um, tons of support, super easy to use. And it's built, uh, a lot of their new tools are built for marketers. So collecting emails and that kind of stuff. And you don't have YouTube or Vimeo doing that kind of stuff. Those platforms have their own goals, which is selling ads and keeping people on their platforms and stealing those users from your platform. 
Start your two-week trial for free on Wistia. Wistia.com slash twist. No credit card is required because they're so confident that you're going to love the service like I do. And you can upload as many videos as you like. Wistia.com slash twist. W-I-S. T-I-A, Wistia.com slash twist. I love the product. I love the team. And it's been fantastic for us. We got control of our own videos again. And we are now collecting emails every day, dozens of emails every week, hundreds of emails every year, thousands of emails to build our direct relationship. That is not have an intermediary between it, telling us how we can talk to you, our fans. We have a direct relationship. It's brilliant. I love Wistia. All right, let's get back to this amazing episode. (laughs) 